Common shift times refers to your regularly used shift times. These would be the shifts that you use on a daily basis when scheduling your employees. The common shifts feature works the same in both the list and list by row layouts. So we'll just look at it in the list layout today. So common shifts will be automatically remembered and added to your list of selectable shifts after you've added them manually for the first time. So if we add a shift for Dustin for Monday, August 21st, for the bartender role, and we'll manually enter that as 10 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. Once we save that, we'll see that we can select that shift time whenever we try and add a new bartender shift within this schedule. So common shifts will be automatically saved within the current week that you're on. As well, they will be saved for three weeks of, on the specific day into the future. So if we add a shift for uh, a Wednesday on August 9th, we can add a shift for Dustin. We'll add it as a bartender shift. And this one we'll add as 2 p.m. to 8 p.m. And we'll save that on this schedule. Now if we jump a few weeks forward, back to the schedule we were on for August 21st, we'll see that if we go to add a bartender shift for Dustin for Wednesday, we have that 2 p.m. to 8 p.m shift time to choose from. We also have that 10 a.m. to 5.30. So any shift that you add here will be saved as a common shift time and you'll be able to use that when adding new shifts. The shift times do need to be added for each individual role separately. So if we wanted to add a 10 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. shift for Kevin under the host, we would need to save that again for the host role. So we'll put that 10 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. And we'll save that. And now if we want to add more host shifts for Kevin that are the 10 a.m. to 5.30, we can see we have that as an option under our common shift times. If you have shift times that you don't use often, uh, but you'd still like to be able to use them occasionally on your schedule. So maybe you have a different kind of schedule in the summertime. You can do that using templates. So if you go up here to templates, we recommend using open shifts for this. So I've got a template here, one A station at the station for my front of house department. I'll click on the pencil to edit that. And you can see I've created some open shifts here. To create new open shifts, simply click on one of the add buttons here, select the days that you want to add that shift for, and then select open shift under who, and then select your role as well, and simply put in your shift time. This case will say 3 p.m. to 9 p.m. and save. Now, if we go back to the schedule, we'll jump forward one week here. and we'll now apply this template to the schedule. So we do that by going to Tools, Fill from Template, and choosing our 1A station template, and clicking Submit. All of our open shifts have populated on the schedule at the top of the schedule. So if we want to add these shifts to our employees, all we would do is just click on the shift and drag it down to the employee that we want. The other thing that you'll see now is since we've added them as open shifts, if we're adding new shifts, they are in there as common shift times. So we've got that host 2 p.m. to 7 p.m. that we added as an open shift, and we can now add that as a common shift time if we want to add more shifts. So that should take care of situations where it's not common shifts that you always use, but you do have to go back to every now and then. Now we do still have the timeframes layout. So if you go over to timeframes, you'll see that you do still have your timeframes here and you can still add and schedule this way as well. That concludes the tutorial on common shift times. If you have any questions, you are welcome to email support at sevenshifts.com and we'll be happy to help.